Now it's two years gone now since we started Haiti operations, which was very, very challenging at the beginning. 200,000 people died in this country and uh, the dead bodies was everywhere in the street. It was really an uh, appalling situation, very difficult to cope with. The big challenge was that we're going to a completely new destination to us. Um, different language, different um, uh, culture, different attitudes. Also, the lack of resources was a big challenge. We are on the other side of the ocean. I've come away with a sense of uh, gratefulness and appreciation for the efforts of Islamic Relief. When they arrived here, uh, immediately after the earthquake, they had no base, so they were uh, truly starting from scratch. The plan was, at the beginning, was one aim, is to save life. Just we need to save life, providing people with water, with food, with medicine, with shelter, which is much more important, providing them with protection, give them se sense of protection. You ready? We're slowly getting through ready? the families who we need to get through. The only, the only issue is that there's so many people who need our help that are coming and saying, look, you need to help us as well. And that's proving a bit of a difficulty. And this is, it took so much time and effort and so on from the disaster response team at the beginning. But we face another challenge as well. We're moving, how to move with people from this stage to the following stage where uh, uh, rehabilitation and recovery. Thinking about more durable solution for the uh, shelter, but they need something much more uh, sustainable, much more durable and so on. We face a challenge that we cannot give them a well-built house because of the cost and because of the land uh, issue. Well, we're on the edge of a, of a vast camp and uh, it's just astonishing to think that this place still has this element of need and all these people are, are totally dependent for their daily lives and what happens here. So the only solution is to give them uh, uh, transitional shelter. We saw uh, Islamic Relief's attempt to give more adequate housing to some of the distressed people. And I take my hat off to them. It was well-organized work, um, cabins that um, have a shelf life much longer than a tent. But these cabins look to me as if they've got four or five years in them. One of the sectors that suffer most uh, after disaster is the education sector and the children. After the earthquake struck, without any proper classrooms and safe place for them to study, these temporary shelters were put up where they could attend their lessons. Uh, that carried on for some time until, through your generous contributions, Islamic Relief was able to rebuild and put the building right, make it safe uh, for the use of the pupils. And now, uh, many months on, uh, we have 632 pupils who are happy pupils studying here uh, with a hope for a brighter future. We are now in Kouadabouke. This is uh, the tailoring training activity we have here. And uh, you see these uh, people here, they are learning a trade. They are learning how to sew. And uh, we have provided this uh, same training with different camps. This is the fourth batch, and we have done this uh, prior to this in uh, May. Here, they will be able to really help themselves in the future with, uh, with this uh, training that they are learning. One of the great things that Islamic Relief has done in the short time it's been in Haiti is to put together a team of people, uh, just about all of them Haitians, and they have really found some treasures, I have to say. The 
there's a, a myth, big myth, that humanitarian aid agency can do everything after disaster. No, the answer is no, we cannot. Because we have a lot of limitations. We have a lot of uh, limitations about our resources, our role. There is so many things beyond our control. We can just do as much as we can, and this is what we've done. So saving lives, providing people with uh, 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 life-saving assistance and so on and so forth, and hope that they will have uh, some uh, stability in order to uh, flourish and move to a uh, better condition, development and so on. Islamic Relief came and established the first camp, and now two years after the earthquake, I can say that things, people had no hopes, but now you can see that the changes that, that's being made within the people, that the, the hope is, has come back. They, they really want to get out of the situation. It's not about other people coming from, or NGOs coming from different parts of the world coming to help, or they're, they're waiting with their hands out. But these are people who really want to work to change their condition. This man, is, is, his name is Lucien, and he painted the exterior of the market very proud of his work, but uh, he is um, all the time at work, all the time wanting to make things better in his country and very glad uh, that people come from outside who love Haiti and want to do a little bit of work to make it a better place. Our commitment to Haiti, it doesn't end with the end of the humanitarian phase. And that's why we are handing over now to the development team. 